what is good marvel squad and welcome back to our channel so it is just me and my twin sister today yes. bill is kicked off the channel team twin is Sorry. taking over today i know you guys are probably so excited for that <laughs> um but today we're going to be doing a girl talk video you know i've done some girl talk videos on here i've done some with bill but i've never done it with my twin sisters so we're gonna be talking about life experiences we're gonna be talking everything that you want to know t you want to know just like tips and tricks and stuff like that so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you guys haven't yet make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and join the marble family make sure you're also staying tuned for the keyword of the video we give shout outs at the end of every single one of our videos now so i'm gonna be saying that keyword somewhere in this video so we're gonna start it off juicy we're gonna start off the girl talk right so have you ever been jealous of each other and i feel like this is a good girl talk video um question because we're twin sisters and yeah. if you are a twin you want to learn more about a twin yeah i think there was some moments back when i was really little when we were in school and i kind of had like a really nerdy phase not like a nerdy phase but i kind of was like had a weird style and megan had more friends than me and i would play alone at the playground and megan <laughs> had friends i think oh, that's I the about that that's i sad. think that's the only time I, I feel like i've ever really been jealous or there's moments where no, it's not even like that. It was like little kid stuff for me. Yeah. No, for me, like, okay, so like, I wouldn't say that I was really jealous of you, like, growing up, but I think, like, I just got, like, I wouldn't say it was jealousy. Like, it's just like, I looked up to you, like, with social media and how, like, much you've grown and, like, I want to be, eventually be like that mm -hmm. and, like, I'm trying to get there, so, like, seeing that like you are so i guess i would say like it's not really i feel it's, like it's, it's not really i just look up to you yeah i look up to you and how far you guys have come and i want to get there one day like that That's i don't like think it's I jealousy i think there's a different word of like we motivate you yes i think that ryan will motivate me a lot to do what i do so you're yeah. doing great thanks i'm trying uh, <laughs> um next question is what age did you guys get your time of the month so your period it was funny because we got it a week after each other like did we i yes. actually was curious to know your story i can say mine really quick so mine happened eighth grade summer i was going i think i was going into freshman year and i remember being in the bathroom and i had blood in my underwear and i was like mom i got my period i'll never forget you being so snaky and you came in i told you okay don't tell the family that i got my period and you ran out and said hi third period and i was like are you freaking kidding? I'm so embarrassed i remember doing that at all and it was so hard because my mom tried teaching me how to use tampons too and that was so freaking hard yeah. to learn when i was no, young what's crazy is you got your period we were at mom's house because my mom and dad were divorced so we yeah. had to go to my mom's on the weekend and then whatever i got we both got it when we were at our mom's house which was great because our it's crazy like we, good thing we were with our mom my dad probably wouldn't know what to do yeah um so like you got yours that week with mom and then i got mine after that and i remember getting mine like Oh my god, I started crying. I started crying. I started crying. I, started crying. I, started crying. I know it freaking sucks. Like I, yeah. I was so happy when I had. You don't have your period yet. If you're young enough and you're watching, you don't have your period yet. Enjoy it. Enjoy yes. it as much as you can. Cause let me tell you, it's annoying. That it's annoying every single month. It's so annoying. But it was really hard to learn how to use a tampon though. Oh my like, gosh, yeah, I didn't use it for a long so time. So I didn't use it for the longest time either. I so scared. I was terrified. I, I had my mom literally do it for me and take it out for me when I was <laughs> here because I just, and I'm not even embarrassed to say that because I was genuinely did not know how to do it. I didn't want to mess up. Yeah, I text in the mirror. <laughs> That's so bad. So, okay, someone asked, do you and Meg have any embarrassing twin stories? You want to know what's actually funny? And this is something that I'll never forget that happened to you whenever at the water park. Oh my God, I was just thinking about that. Wait, let me say this story. Let me say this story. <laughs> I think that was the most embarrassing no. moment for the so, both of us together so, because I experienced it with her. I don't even know how old we were. We were young. We were young. And there was like a group of really cute boys, I thought, that were in front of us. We were raging waves. We're, if you guys yes. don't know where that's at, in, in Illinois. It's in New Yorkville. And um, I, we were standing, we were about to get on the hurricane or whatever it's called. Yeah. We go down. And I thought, saw these cute boys. I'm like, oh my God, they're so cute. And all of a sudden, like, I was showing a little bit. And I don't even know who noticed the thing. Right, Mariah, or Megan, your thing's out. And I said, oh, and I looked down. Like, oh, and the guys were like all like giggling about well, it. But then your top came off all the way off. Remember? Your top fell off. Oh, yeah. And then it fell completely <laughs> off. And I remember being so bad. Like, oh, I started crying, and then there was a really bad storm that came. A really bad storm that came. Oh, from, like, yeah. oh, so yeah. we had to get off. We had to get off him out of line. And I'm like, oh my god, I never see these guys again. Thank God. Uh, no, no. Yeah, Don't I know, I know. But we were like, thank God, thank we don't God. see them. But yeah. Then and then, and then after the storm stopped. 
We get back to the on. They're like, okay, you guys can go back on in the water slides. We get back there and guess who's in front of us again? The boys. The same boys. Oh, it was the so same boys. And then, then the boys followed us to the wave pool, and we were just talk. Then they wanted to talk to us the whole time. I'm like, yeah, probably because they saw my tatas. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, it was so embarrassing. God. I remember being so embarrassed, and I, it's something I'll never forget. Yeah, I, I think that is honestly the most <laughs> memorable, most funniest, even memorable. It's just, just so funny. Like I don't think I don't think that story could ever get out of my head. Like, no, that was that like funny. No, and I, I feel was... like there's more stories, but I just can't think of them on the top of my head right now. No, that was so embarrassing. Oh, that was so God. embarrassing. Yeah, that's the most embarrassing story that we have on our minds right at the moment. That's just a very memorable one. But the next question oh, is... Oh, wait. You oh. have an embarrassing moment? What? When we were at Panera Bread and you walked in the wrong car? Oh, yeah. I, I walked into the so we were uh, we were out with our friends with our grandma we go into Panera Bread it's pouring rain so we eat and then after it's pouring rain so we had to run to the car and there was two of the same types of cars like that my grandma drove like her car and then a car that looked exactly like hers next to it so I wasn't paying attention I was just running into a car so I ran into the car shut the door and I look up and I'm like oh my god that's not my grandma <laughs> and I'm like I am so sorry and I ran out of the car and ran into to my grandma's and Meg's car with my friend and they were all all dying laughing because they so watched bad. it happen. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, right now. Oh, yeah. God. She just did listen, like, yeah. Or the moment when you remember at um Wisconsin Dells oh, in the flags. hotel. Six oh six flags. flags and you no okay doo yeah. all over the floor. Yeah, wait. wait. I, we were going to Six Flags. It was Six Flags, not Miss Fentanyl. It was Six Flags, and we were in a hotel room. It's like a Pac Man hotel room. I don't even know. I remember having really bad diarrhea. Okay, and it was all day. And you know what? I thought I was okay at the end of the night, and we had pizza. Like, everyone got pizza, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna eat some pizza. I remember it was like three in the morning, and I knew I really had to go to start. I pulled my pants, I took my pants off, like, while I was in the bed, so I could just, when I get to the bathroom, <laughs> I didn't have to worry about taking them off. And nope, it did not happen. It just came out of me from the bed all the way until I got to the toilet. And I remember my dad wasn't, it was just me, you, and like, dad. And dad. And then, like, I remember having to just bang on dad's door and being like, dad, dad. And, and so like, that what are you doing at three in the morning out calling me? I was like, I pooped all over the floor. And then, and then literally I wake up because I hear, I hear my sister crying in the shower and then my dad <laughs> screaming. And I was like, what happened? I'm like, what happened? And my dad's like, your sister pooped all over the floor. <laughs> Wait, I was old enough too. I was old yeah, enough to be. Yeah, it's been called her poop trail for the longest time. Yeah, poop trail. I was oh called my poop gosh. trail for so That's long. So I remember Mariah. Mariah. I'm no, so sorry. I remember Mariah told everybody at school and everybody would call them the halls and call me poop trail. Because it was such a funny story. Yeah, but that's embarrassing. I know. I was kind of messed up on my yeah, it was messed up on her and she told, every, she told the whole school that I, I pooped all over the floor. Now I'll call me Poop Trail. And he told the worst per he told the worst person that too because he was a bully in yeah, high school. Yeah, he was a bully in high school and he told everyone. He I told know. everybody. I know, I was just trying to be funny. You yeah, weren't funny. funny stories. Yeah, well you weren't funny. Yeah, well, I, was, I, I was a kid and I, I didn't so realize how you know, as a kid, I was immature, I didn't realize that that wasn't probably the best story to share to a crowd of people. <laughs> yeah, no, you think. Okay, so since we're talking about high school, let's talk about our dating experience, our men, what are some tips of breakups so for me i didn't okay so freshman year i had a i had a little bit of what you would say i'm gonna be just totally transparent because at the end of the day you guys are my family i've grown up we've all grown up it and you know it is what it is i think we i think you guys can learn lessons from us i went through a little phase where i would kiss a lot of guys <laughs> and stuff like that no i never i my body count is only three so no, I didn't do any full base type stuff. It was just a lot of kissing and other stuff. I just, I did a lot of that. I went to a lot of parties, I partied it up. I, I did all that. They were all, honestly just flings and hookups and quick, simple party kissing, stuff like that. Just little kid stuff, okay? So I honestly only really had one serious relationship throughout my entire high school. Like I've dated people, but they weren't long. Like they were like a month to four months five months like I, I don't really count those i count like year and above so i only had one long-term relationship before i started dating bill so for me it was really hard when i did go through that breakup because it felt like i wasn't gonna find anyone else and it felt like i needed to stay with him but i also was like in my head i'm like i want to experience more i feel like i deserve more there was a lot there's a lot that i don't really want to discuss but like yeah so 
for me it was really hard and to also deal with the breakup and your ex posting stuff cropping you out of photos or just stuff like that like things that just make you feel like even worse just know that it will get better and there is a person for everybody just because you didn't make it with that one person you thought you could make it through with there always will be someone like i met my bill I did and I'm so thankful that I did. If you feel like you're never gonna find your person, you will. Like you really will. And it's coming from me. Yeah, Megan's had I've been through the ringer. Megan has men. been through the ringer of men. I have been through the ringer of men and worse than me. Yeah. Way I, worse than me. Way worse. I've had multiple boyfriends. A lot of boyfriends and you know I never thought I'd find my person and um, I remember before I met Jordan I was like I'm done trying with guys like I just keep getting screwed over I did the wrong one he did the worst one the terrible ones mm -hmm. and then I finally found Jordan and I was like very I, I, and I it was crazy because I told myself I'm like I'm done trying I'm done searching because I feel like when you search for people and you search for a relationship it never works out you guys are wondering why I'm on my phone I'm looking at more questions while she explains her story so like it's never good to search for a man it, you gotta wait for it to come to you those are always the best ones and I was always and the reason in these relationships never worked out is that I always searched for them. I always forced them. I always like thought that they were good for me, but they weren't. And then I stopped doing that. And I that's how I found Jordan. And now we've been together for four years. And he's been one of my best relationships I've ever been in. So I obviously have our fair share of, you know, issues and problems. And I think every relationship goes through that. But And I also want to say, like, don't settle. Mm -mm. Like, I think it's cool. Like, I'm glad I kind of got to experience relationships Me and too. men. Also, if you do find that guy, like, if you're lucky enough to find that one person that you don't have to experience anything else with other people, that's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do everything you can to keep that. But I think it's also nice to kind of experience different relationships, different people, kind of like get a feel of what you want in a relationship especially when you're younger a lot of those young relationships don't last like i'm mm -hmm. thankful i met bill in high school and we were high school sweethearts but i was a senior he was a junior it's okay to experience it's okay yeah. to learn lessons it's a whole part about growing up and living and just experiencing all that type of stuff yeah yep trust so. me i've been through it i've been through it so breakups are not easy and i've gone through a lot of breakups and a lot of times where i get really down on myself but you just gotta know that that wave it's okay to feel those emotions when you break up mm -hmm. so I could feel those ways because it makes you stronger as a person so I know some people want to know too if me and Meg have ever dated the same guy <laughs> okay I will say this when we were younger I feel like we you know when you're like a little kid and all you do is hold hands I feel like we did that with yeah some of the same guys that L yeah. Little little kid stuff like little yeah. kid stuff I've never like dated or been, been with, with somebody that we've like ill no 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 no, no, no. No. Disgusting. No. No. I may have packed the same guy you've packed. Mm -hmm. But That's like it. But it's not it's not it was never no. like that. No. no. We never so, dated the same guy either. No. That is like off boundaries. Yeah. No. So off the question of that too, does my the twin sister like my husband? No guys. No. 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 We trolled the internet and it worked. We did. But we it did. worked, obviously. People don't know how to take a joke. It's crazy, though, because people used to actually be able to take it as a joke prior. But I feel like people are, like, now, like, don't know how to take it as a joke. And it's, like, they just think that I want them. That's how their relationship always has been. Yes. He's, like, that was his sister's. Like, it's not... We have a father and sister relationship. Yeah. We're very close. And I think that's okay. And I don't think that means I want Bill. I don't want Bill. I never looked at Bill like that. And, yeah, I had a little a teeny, teeny, tiny crush on Bill when I first met him. But, like, that was before they even started I also dating. had a crush on some of the guys at Mariano's that you started talking to. Yes, exactly. It, like, it literally is just like how it feelings is. feelings for Bill or I wanted to date Bill or kiss Bill. Like, no, I don't want Bill. Yeah. Everyone needs to stop with those comments. It's so annoying. <laughs> but I guess people are just going to think what they want in the day. But yeah, I'm just going to let them is. think that. We know, we know, I know Megan does not look at Bill like no, that. I would no, no. I, I, and he's not ill, but like, I just, I don't look, he's like my brother. I can't. Yeah, no. So that question is done. I'm not, I'm, that's the last time I'm answering that question. Mm -hmm. Anybody else who says it, I'm done answering it because it's just, it's just not worth it anymore. Um, next question is, how does it feel to be an identical twin? Do you feel my emotions when I'm sad? And do I feel your emotions when you're sad? Like, is a twin telepathy type of feeling real? I would yes. say yes. I know when she's upset, she knows when I'm upset. We can feel like our she, energy. If she says something she shouldn't have said to me, she'll be like, she'll text me, she'll, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said that, I'm so sorry. And then she'll know I'm upset. Yeah, I'll know right away, like I know when I mess up. We just know each other. Like When you it, say something, someone's gonna be like, I just roll my eyes, I'm like, I'm not gonna answer her. <laughs> 
And then you're texting and you say, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, you oh should be sorry. Oh my God, I know. But we also say a lot of the same words at the same time. Mm -hmm. People ask us a question and we'll be like, yes, same time. Yeah. And we're like, oh my gosh. Like, or like we just do a random it. word too. Yes. Like, at the same time. We That's do why those twin telepathy videos, you guys think that like it's fake, but it's, it's not. Real. It's real. It's real. Like we have not acted a single one out. And I am not joking, you guys. We have not acted a single one out. Those are all real. It's actually crazy. Like, I think we're going to be doing another one after this video. Posting it on TikTok. And it's crazy how much we think alike. Yep. It really is crazy. Oh, this is a good question. Meg, has your boyfriend ever mistaken you with Mariah? This is actually hilarious. I will never forget this. Do you remember when I was dating this one kid? They were very unserious relationships. It was weird. I don't even think I was dating them yet, but I was talking to this one guy, but they were best friends. The guys that we were talking to were best friends. Remember when they met up with us? And the guy comes with me and the guy goes with you. And I was, we, we kind of sort of went along with it because we were, it was so uncomfortable. We didn't know what to do or how to tell them that they, they went to the wrong girls. And we all had the same hair color at this time. I don't remember this at all. And I ended up telling him that that was the wrong person and he was so mad at me. He's like, you embarrassed me. I'm trying to remember who this was. I'm Megan. It was, it was in, it was when we were at Central. And it was in that hallway. It, listen, it was so like, I, I can't, remember, I can't well. remember the men. I, I remember their face, but I can't remember their names. I think I remember. It's coming to me. I don't know. I gotta think about this more. And it's then the guys later. were mad because they mixed us up. And they were mad that we didn't say something. But I didn't know how to... It was so awkward. I didn't know how to, like, tell them, you know? It was so awkward. Yeah. That is so funny you guys asked that. Here's a question, which is going to answer the title. Do we want to get pregnant at the same time? Mm. I would love that. I would actually love to at least try to get pregnant once in our lives together. Time just so we can have a cute twin maternity shoe, but it's not a must. Like yeah, if it no. happens, it happens. I know I'm probably gonna have kids before you. I don't know because <laughs> you and Jordan. No, we're not gonna have kids right now. We're gonna answer two more of your guys' questions. The second to last question is, what was your worst fights you guys had when y'all were younger? This is one I'll never forget. There's two, which you remember the one, I'm, I'm gonna give the easy one off. I got really mad at you because I really was riding that thing outside. It was like that rocking oh, thing, Big we Bird. Oh, little, yes. Big Bird, and you wanted to get on it and I didn't want you to get on it and yes, I was so refusing. Selfish. I, I was kind of mean. She was very mean to me as a kid. So mean to me as a kid. She always thought that she was on top, like I'm better than me when we were little. Like always thought that she did things did. first. She'd take things from me. I did, I did, I was a little greedy. I was very And then I my was. mom put her on a time out in a room and she's just screaming crying. My mom would do like mom and dad would do like home videos. Yeah, like, and we'd watch it and I was watch screaming and she was crying. Screaming and I'm like And then there was another time when you were being really annoying asking me to give you the remote and I said, Oh yeah, you want the remote? So I took the remote. I'm all the way across the room it. and I I whipped it, it smacked her in the eye, gave her a black eye, and I was gr so grounded. Yeah. So grounded. I feel like that was one of the worst fights. Yeah. We had a really bad fight the other day. We did actually get into a really bad fight the other day. We really did. The first fight we've had in and a long A very, time. very, very long, like, it was not aggressive. It was like, yeah, I needed a break from her for a couple days. I was so mad it was at her. It like a day. We're not going to talk about the fight because it's kind of personal, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just. Yeah, we it was fought. Really bad. We fought all day too. It wasn't just like a couple no, hours. It was all from the day. start to the night to the next day. Yeah, that was like the worst fight we had in I a got very really long anxious time. Anxious and sad. So. Yeah. This isn't gonna be the last question, but did you guys ever swap on your teachers in school? No, and that's something that I will regret to this day. I think it was just scary because I felt like the teachers knew us apart, even yeah. though we looked exactly like our hair was alike. I don't know, it was just scary. I didn't have the guts to do it, no, I but I there. wish. Everybody always told us to. Oh, we should we should have done that in college. I feel like I we, didn't went to college. College. we didn't go to college. Uh, I don't know. I, well, I went to, I went to beauty school. So. Went to JJC for a few years. But no, that I think that's one thing I regret not doing once. That would have been really funny. That would have been a story we could tell everybody for the rest of our life. All right, we're going to end it with drama and school drama, how to deal with school drama, our worst drama story in high school, and how to overcome it. And because I know a lot of you guys are starting school here this week um, in the upcoming weeks. So let's talk about this. So for me, I you could probably vouch with this too. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of friends. I will say we had a lot of friends in high school, mm -hmm. but. A lot but, of drama comes with that. A lot of drama and a lot of bullying. I mm -hmm. feel like I got bullied really bad in high school. There was Facebook pages made about like kill the twins. Mm -hmm. There was face there was so many like pages made and like things said about us. I got bullied so much I had to go to the principals and I hate doing that. I hate being the one to like seek help. And boys would like, also use us like to be like, oh my god, like I'm gonna get with I'm gonna try to get with both twins and like 
they yeah. were just like it was just bad it was just it was just bad it was just bullying and like there was a part in school that i got i kind of drank too much and I threw up and I embarrassed myself and I got fully around the whole school. This is why I didn't make the sophomore high school team. And in softball. yeah, in softball. I was getting people in the hallways like making puking noises at me. It was honestly a very traumatic time and it was hard. Like getting bullied mm -hmm. is very hard. You know, we had friend groups. We had a lot of friends, different friend groups, but when that friend group fall out, drama, and then you go, it's like <sighs> Honestly, at the end of the day, a lot of friends is not worth it. Do not a couple friends. Yes, do not feel like you need to be best friends with every mm -hmm. single person in high school. It's just gonna cause more issues, honestly. Be acquaintance with everyone, be nice to everyone. But honestly, take it from me, be friend, have one good friend. I feel like mm -hmm. that is something that I've taken away from my high school experience and just growing up is none of those people in high school are gonna matter. None of those mm -hmm. bullies are gonna matter. So don't let that define you. And I know it's hard in the moment and gosh, I can't even imagine being back in school again mm -hmm. and dealing with that again, but just know you're not alone and you're gonna get there, you're gonna get out of there and none of those people are gonna matter. Having a one solid friend, even three solid friends is mm -hmm. so much better than a million friends. Yeah. You don't a million friends to be popular be cool like you don't need 500 likes on instagram you don't need to be the prettiest girl in school you don't need to be wearing a bunch of makeup to feel like the prettiest girl in school be yourself and honestly at the end of the day as long as you know you're being true to yourself and being you that's all that matters anything you want to say drama's gonna happen fights are gonna happen but like honestly like you just have to ignore those people you cannot feed into it if someone's coming at you about something and you don't agree with it honestly what's gonna make those people most mad is you ignoring it Mm -hmm. and acting like you don't care because the more you feed into it the more they're gonna want to do it the more they want to so. do it more and more and more like i had people come to my door wanting to fight me i remember that and they said let's go let's go to the park i was like okay let's go to the park they didn't do anything they're all talk all those people that want to say they want to fight and they want to do other things it's all talk honestly at the end of the day they're unhappy with their own lives and, and they have things they need to figure bullies, out most of those bullies now what are they doing they have nothing else to do they're not bullying anymore no. And it's sad because bullies have a lot of baggage. They have a lot of things that are oh, going no, no. through in their lives that they have to tend to put that out onto other people, which is not okay. But just remember that, like the bullies aren't happy. Even though they might look happy and they might think they're tough, like they're not. They don't, no. at the end of the day, they're going home and they're sad. Yeah. So just remember that. I know high school's coming up. Stay strong. You're gonna get through it. Stick to your good friends. Be good with your good friends. And don't feel like you need to be friends with everyone. Don't feel like you need to be a different person for people to like you. Be you. Be natural. Yeah. You guys are all beautiful. You guys are all also amazing people. Also, I didn't even give you guys a comment of the day. So we're going to do that here in just a minute. But guys, that is going to be the sum up of the Girls Talk video. I wish I could talk to you guys more. I feel like there's so much more I want to talk about. So if you guys want a part two, comment down below. Maybe we'll do a part two mm -hmm. um, in the next month. And we can go over a few more um, topics we didn't go over today. Day. The comment of the day is let's comment high school and then now we are going to shout out a few people Okay, so I think the last word of the day was baby So shout out to Ariana for commenting baby. We love you so much a shout out summer slay thank you so much for commenting baby we love you we see you also savannah trip shout out to you we're also going to give a shout out to alana riley shout out to you and the last but not least phoenix collins thank you so much for being a part of our channel we love you if you guys want to have a post notification shout out make sure you guys are coming down below the word high school to be shouted out we love you guys so much and we will see you in the next video but until then Peace. Love you guys. <laughs>